Matthew Judon finally done in New England? We're going to be talking about that here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Allie Barefoot, and a recent report came out that the Patriots and Matthew Judon are not close on agreeing to an extension. As you guys know, Matthew has been asking for a tweak to his salary and his contract pretty much his entire offseason. The last report that we have does have him holding in with the Patriots. So he was at minicamp. He was not at OTAs. He was participating to an extent at minicamp, but not to the extent that the Patriots want him to. So let's break down the official report here from Henry McKenna. And he said, Matthew Judon has asked for a new contract and the Patriots have made an offer. According to a source close to the situation, but they are not currently close to agreeing on a new deal. He's in the final year of his contract and is set to make, set to make just $6.5 million in this upcoming year. So from this take, it looks like the Pats made an offer that Judon just doesn't want. And that's tough for an almost 32-year-old. So we're possibly going to be talking about a potential trade scenario now for Matthew Judon. If they're offering him something he doesn't want it, it doesn't sound like he wants to be in New England for that much longer, which could cause a little bit of drama heading into this season. So we're going to unpack that here on today's show. First things first, though, we are extremely close to 13,000 subscribers. Can we get there on this video? If the Patriots make a move, we make a video. It's that simple. Go on ahead, hit that sub button for me, and help us get to 13K. All right, so once again, the Patriots made an offer, but the two sides can't seem to agree. So it sounds like they didn't offer him the money that Matthew Judon thinks that he's worth. I do think he's a phenomenal, phenomenal defensive player, especially for the New England Patriots. But you got to look at his age. You got to look at his injury. And unfortunately, if the Patriots already made an offer and the two sides can't agree, it's not looking pretty good. For red sleeves unfortunately this is not a topic i want to discuss this is not a topic i want to happen do not come in my comment section and saying what is she talking about trading for matthew judon it is unfortunately a situation we do have to now look at because if they don't come to an agreement should the patriots end up making a move for judon and getting something while he still has a ton of trade market availability well Here's what Mark Bertrand had to say on the situation here. And he said, look, he's not surprised at all. I don't think the team is interested in giving him any sort of considerable raise at this moment in time. He was hurt for much of last year. He didn't finish either of the previous two seasons. And all that strongly, they're at a point now where you're now into your 30s. You're 32 years old, almost. This is when guys fall off a cliff in this league. Let's see what you can go out there and do and see how it goes for the next couple of months. So what I want you guys to know here, here's the summary. Here's where I really want you to make your own opinion on whether you would trade Judon or keep him knowing he's not 100% satisfied in New England. He is heading into his final season of a four-year, $54 million deal. The Patriots gave him a one-year extension in 2023 and he is turning 32 years old coming off a bicep injury where we only played four games last season for the pretty bad new england patriots unfortunately here's my take on the situation i hope you guys have made your opinion because this one's mine the patriots are in a rebuild and paying an almost 32 year old doesn't seem like it's in the cards right now it may not be a smart move he's still a phenomenal player i'm not questioning his skill set I'm questioning the age and the injury and what path the Patriots are going on. Because if they're going for a rebuild, adding a 32-year-old doesn't make much sense. Keep this in mind. The Patriots have only extended two 30-year-olds so far. David Andrews, a captain. Hunter Henry, a captain. That makes sense. But my question for you guys is, if you had to extend, if you had to make a new contract agreement with Matthew Judon, what would you guys offer? What contract would you give an almost 32-year-old that has had injuries in the past? Let me know in the comments section below. Be Elliot Wolf. Let me know how many years and how much money you want to give Matthew Judon. And I'll give you a little bit of background here. What he's done the last three seasons in New England. He's only played 38 games. He's had 84 solo tackles. 33 tackles for loss. My favorite number right here. 32 big boy sacks. And two forced fumbles. 
But like I said, age and injury. You have to keep bringing it up. This is the reality. Age and injury is a concern for a player like Matthew Judon. He's coming off a major bicep injury. He's going to be 32 years old. And if you're looking to rebuild and have a younger team, Judon just might not fit anymore. I think if you are truly looking at whether or not you want to keep him into 2025, then yeah, talk about an agreement. But if not, it might be time to consider a trade. I don't want to talk about a trade, but it's my job to talk about a trade because it actually might happen now in the future if Judon doesn't want to be in New England. And there are still several teams out there that can use an edge like Matthew Judon. Now let me point out, once again, before you guys come at me in my comment section, this would be a massive loss for the Patriots defense. It really would. You're losing such a verbal leader, a locker room leader. You're losing a big-time sack leader for the New England Patriots. It would be tough. I do think the Patriots would manage. I do think Anthony Jennings and I do think Uche would be a good step up to, to take over that role, but it'd be pretty big shoes to fill. And like I said, the Patriots need to ask themselves one question here. Look at 2025. Do you see Judon a part of your plan in 2025 and on? If not, it's time for a trade. Because 2024 is not going to be a Super Bowl year for the Patriots. I'm sorry, I hate to burst your bubble. This is looking like a 5-7 to seven win season, hopefully, because 2024 is strictly a rebuild year. This is where all the pieces start to fit together. And you do not want Matthew Judon to walk away without anything in return. That is why this is probably the best time to look at a trade scenario for Judon while he still has all the juice in the world. He's coming off of one season with an injury, a pretty bad season, but if you go to my Twitter, at AR Barefoot, I just posted videos of Matthew Judon working out, and he looks great. Use that juice while you have it, because the Patriots would have fumbled the bag if they let him go without getting something in return. So I want to break down three trade scenarios for Matthew Judon. I've talked to people in the chat sports office. I've done my research. I think these sound like pretty good trade options in my opinion. And I'll ask you guys what you think in just a few moments. Let's go ahead and jump into trade idea number one. This is going to be with the New England Patriots and the Las Vegas Raiders. So you're going coast to coast here. You got Thayer Munford coming in. For an offensive tackle, which the Patriots desperately need. And you're also adding a sixth-round pick in 2025. What you would give the Raiders is Matthew Judon and a 2025 seventh-round pick. So you're wondering, all right, Allie, who is Thayer Munford? Well, he's currently the right tackle for the Las Vegas Raiders. I know you're saying, we have not win it. Why would you get a right tackle? Because this guy is a swing tackle. He's a utility guy. He started five games on the right side last year and four games on the left. Obviously, he can go both ends here, which the Patriots cannot hurt putting some depth in there as well. According to ESPN, he's actually better on the left side than he is the right side. His numbers were better from pass block win rate. It went from 87.3% to 85.2%. That's on the right side, the 85.2%. Sacks allowed, two on the left four on the right, and run block win rate, 76%, only 71% on the right side. He wants to be a left tackle. He's been a left tackle in college. He started four games at left tackle for the Raiders, going up against Max Crosby in practice. Are you kidding me? I think that would be a steal for the Patriots, not to mention he's 25 years old. Talk about a rebuild. You can start to make moves on the offensive line here. But if you don't like Thayer Munford, let me know who you guys do like. Which NFL player do you want in a Matthew Judon trade? Be reasonable. Be reasonable, guys. Don't make anything crazy out there. But which NFL player would you like to see in a Matthew Judon trade? Let me go ahead and bring up trade idea number two. This one's going to be from Chicago. The Bears would receive Matthew Judon, while the Patriots would receive Larry Borum, the offensive tackle, a 2025 fifth round pick. So now you're getting a little bit of draft stock, a little bit higher next year, but you're also getting an offensive tackle as well. He was a 2021 fifth round draft pick out of Missouri, so he's not that old, still in his 20s, still a part of that rebuild group. 23 starts in 39 games played through three seasons between 
left tackle, left guard, right guard, right tackle, anywhere but the center. I love it. And he is entering in to his final year of a rookie deal. When you look at the PFF ranks, so Larry's kind of positioned around the second, third in the depth chart in at left tackle for the Bears right now. And he was ranked number 74 out of left tackles in 2023, 50 out of 2021, 65 out of 2021. So it's going to be interesting to see how he progresses. This is not going to be one of the best left tackles in the NFL this season. But if you're looking to add some depth and you're looking to rebuild, why not go on ahead and make a deal with the Chicago Bears? Because there's nothing wrong with Larry. It's just the Bears now have a position where they can have pretty much the same success rate with another player for about $2 million cheaper. The Bears are just looking for a cheaper option here. That's the only reason why they're looking to get rid of Larry. It's not because of his skill set. It's because it's a money thing. But I have one more trade idea here for you guys, going back to the Las Vegas Raiders, but this time for a safety. I love Jabril Peppers. I love Kyle Duggar. After that, I predict Jalen Hawkins is going to be on the 53-man roster and Brendan Schooler. Not my favorite in the depth chart in terms of safety. Let's talk about Chris Smith, the strong safety and a 2025 six-round pick. You're getting the same pick that you would get for Thayer Munford. He was a 2023 draft prospect for the Patriots. The kid's 24 years old. Stick him in the secondary, and it will not make up for losing Matthew Judon in the defense, but you add on to the defense still. You're still putting some rebuild back there. The Patriots could always use safety depth. Like I said, Hawkins is not bad. He's not. I don't have the most confidence in the world in Jalen Hawkins. I do in Peppers and Duggar. And then you got Schooler, who's kind of a utility player between special teams and the free safety. When you look at what the kid did at Georgia, as he was one of the nationally ranked top defensive players when he was in college, he had 1,259 coverage snaps at Georgia with 483 yards allowed. This kid defends like white on rice. He is a ball hunter. He makes phenomenal tackles. He knows how to wrap up his offensive guys. He has a nose for the ball. I I've loved the athleticism that I have seen, but the Raiders have a very experienced backfield. That's why they could possibly part with Smith, and you know they would love to get Judon, pair him up with Max Crosby, and boom, you've got a phenomenal defense for the Raiders. That's why I think they'd be open to Chris Smith. But those are just three options that I have for you guys. I mean, who am I? You know, go on ahead and pick a trade. Type TM for Thayer Munford. Type LB for Larry Borum. Type CS for Chris Smith. Or if you want Matthew Judon to not be traded from the New England Patriots, you want him to come to a contract agreement with New England, type NO for no trade. As always, if anything happens, you know I got you right here for free. A video almost instantly. Go on ahead, hit that sub button for me, and help us get to 13K.